everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a magic review. Two magic reviews. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are gonna continue on with Mentalism Week. Did you pick up what I was throwing down? Mentalism Week, doing a mentalism reviews all week long. Plus today is fun and exciting because I'm doing two from Paul Carnazzo. And uh, if you're not familiar already, I've done quite a bit of reviews for Paul. Uh, big fan of his, I love his work. And I've even done reviews for him over in the membership section. Did you know there is a membership section here at Magic Orthodox? You can join this channel. That's right. You can join this channel for $1.99 a month for just two bucks a month you'll get access to two extra videos every single week. That's eight extra videos a month for less than a cup of coffee. Just go down to where it says Magic Orthodoxy, click the join button and it'll take you from there. All right, getting back to Paul Carnazzo. Uh, if you go out to some of the big magic chains, the big magic dealers, they do sell a lot of his products, but he actually has his own storefront, mentalvoyage.com, where you can peruse uh, a lot of uh, his merchandise. And so that's where I would head on down to. This first trick is called Lexicology. It's Lexicology 2.0. Actually, there was a while back where Paul released Lexicology, the original, but this is 2.0. And interestingly enough, I actually have it right now in my back pocket, right here, it's in my wallet. Um, this has just become one of my new everyday carries because it goes along with depiction. So depiction, I reviewed a while back, and it's been my everyday carry ever since I got it. And this is done in the same style as depiction, same coloring, same font, same logos. It's from the National Institute of Parapsychology, just like depiction. So having the two of them in my wallet as everyday carries uh, is really working for me so far. So I really enjoy having both of them. But if you're already a fan of depiction, I would definitely recommend adding this one to that because it gives you another little element and it helps you continue your story about this fictional institute. And so whereas depiction is a picture test, right? It could be even a drawing duplication if you wanted it to be. Uh, lexicology is a word test, right? Because of lexicon. And so you can do this with two spectators. There's a list of 21 words. You have uh, one spectator pick an even number and your other spectator pick an odd number. Show them the list and say, you know, just memorize one of the even words and you memorize one of the odd words and then you reveal the first spectator's word, uh, just divine it. It's, you know, one of 21 words and you just divine it with absolutely no fishing, by the way. No fishing. There's no uh, dual reality, nothing like that going on. You'll just, you'll just hit it right away. Now you turn to the second spectator and say, let's, let's do your word a little differently. You can turn the card over and now there's a new list and say, we'll, we'll just do word association. Whatever word you are looking at on the front, I want you to find a word that associates closely to it on the back. And then again, you'll be able to hit it right away with no fishing. There's even a third phase to this where you can take it even a step further. And the cool thing about this card is it works for two or four spectators. Even though two is probably ideal, uh, you could use this card in a four spectator routine. And on top of all of that, you're gonna get three extra bonus tricks. All right, so let's talk about it. What do you get? Let's say you pay your $25 to mentalvoyage.com. What do you get? Uh, you're gonna get one of the little cardboard foldy, foldy things that we talked about last week. Uh, inside, you'll get the link to the PDF. PDF is roughly 28 pages and you'll get the card itself that'll fit nice and snugly into your wallet. Is it well-made? Uh, it's just like depiction. It's just a very stiff kind of flexy board. Um, it kind of feels like a plastic, thin plastic, like a thin plastic paper. Uh, it should last you a good long time if you keep it uh, in your wallet pocket. All right, so what about the PDF? How's the teaching? What are you gonna learn? Um, Paul, uh, his PDFs are always very clear, very clear instruction. Uh, he starts the teaching on page seven of, of the PDF and it ends on page 13. So you're getting a total seven pages of instruction out of the 28 pages, so seven pages of instruction. As far as what he's gonna teach you, there's an intro. He'll go over, you know, just his inspiration for it. He'll talk about how to use the card. He'll talk about ambiguous fishing, ambiguous fishing, but that's only at the end. 
So the first two phases, there's no fishing for. The last phase, the third phase, there's a little bit of fishing and it takes you down kind of like a little series of questions. There's plenty of scripting though through this whole thing. Paul doesn't just, you know, push you off into the darkness. <laughs> he holds your hand. So you're going to get to read all of his scripting. And as you read it, you, you're there. You're right there. It's going to feel like you're watching the trick playing out right in front of you. He's going to go through all the phases. So he'll cover if the spectator says yes or no, right? So that you know exactly what to do. And he'll even cover what happens if you should miss. But again, you're only going to miss maybe on the third phase or maybe if the spectator is not listening to you very well or you didn't give very clear instructions. And then at the end, there's some afterthoughts and bonus effects. Now, what are the bonus effects? Well, the first bonus effect is uh, ESP chart down at the bottom, and that's based on Banachek's ABCD test. The second bonus effect is the circle with the triangle inside that you probably are familiar with already. The last bonus effect is uh, from the trick reversal, which is also in Banachek's Psychological Subtleties. I think it's in book one, and it's based off of the 1089 force. All right, so can it be inspected? Could you hand the card out? Um, Paul says that the force isn't obvious to a layperson. I think it would be very obvious to a magician, especially if they sat there and read all the words, right? And that's what you don't want. You don't want to just hand it out and have them just read all the words, especially if the trick is over, because then they're going to look for their word and then also look at some of the other words, and then they'll start to see perhaps a connection. All right, so how much practice does this require? Um, let me put it this way. I had halfway read through the PDF. I hadn't read through the entire thing, but I had already put the card in my back pocket and I went out to a restaurant that night. I was able to do phase one and phase two for two spectators with no practice. None. So the third phase definitely needs some practice and I'll talk about that. How much setup and reset is there? None, it's a self-working card. Nothing to add, nothing to take away. Positives positives. This is another great everyday carry. Uh, it's great for your wallet. Plus, like I've been saying, I'm a huge fan of Paul. Negatives. Let's go to the negatives. The final phase, the third phase, that takes some memory work. So it's not a negative. It's just a warning. I'm just telling you, I made it sound, you know, glorious and wonderful and fun <laughs> for the first two phases, but the third phase does require memory work. And you do have to pay attention to the questions that Paul asks and the order in which Paul asks. And I would add you have to memorize that, okay? You do have to memorize that. So the third phase of this does require very specific memory work, but the payout is gonna be even better because like I said, this one little card is gonna do one trick, second trick, and a third hit, right? A third hit plus the three bonus effects. So that's a lot. How much is it? It's $25, 25 bucks at mentalvoyage.com. All right, trick number two, this is the player's card. The player's card is a card that looks like one of those little advertisement cards that come in a deck of cards. So if you've ever opened up a deck of cards and seen perhaps the extra cards, right, the ad or the advertisement cards, one card sometimes is the rank of poker hands. You ever seen that rank of poker hands card? It's akin to that. It looks like that, but it's secretly disguised because it is also a magic trick. Now, which magic trick is it? Um, this is the math number trick that sometimes comes in like little kid magic kits, but the little kids never do it because it requires math. <laughs> and sometimes it requires two digit math, like, you know, add 12 plus 24 together. So it's been a little too uh, much math for, for, well, for even me, right? Uh, I saw this come in the Royal Magic magic kit. I've seen this come in the Chris Angel magic kit. It's those cards that has all the numbers all over it. And you say, pick a number between one and a hundred and then you hand the cards to them and then you say hand the cards back to me where you see their your number up here it's that trick right it's that trick but now it's done with playing cards so you hand the poker card to them shows the rank of hands and you say pick any card there right they can pick the ace of spades king of diamonds you know whatever they want and uh then you try to discern what card they're looking at and the only question you ask is um you're gonna ask them something about something about the suits, okay? And it's just one little fishing question about the suits, and it's really, really harmless. It's a very, it, it is, it's a very innocent question. It's gonna fly right by them. But once you have that one piece of information, you will know the exact rank, right? You'll know if it's ace through king, you'll know exactly. And then to get the suit, 
you'll have to do just a little bit. I wouldn't even say it's fishing. It's just a little series of questions. So a little series of questions, but you'll hit it within one or two. And then the cool thing about this trick is you can turn the card over and there's a second uh, set of cards in groups of three and you'll be able to do this trick again for the same spectator or do it for a second spectator. And it'll look like a second trick. It kind of is a second trick because the method is different, but it'll feel the same, but just a little different. So let's say you pay your $15 to mentalvoyage.com. What are you gonna get? You're gonna get a little foldy folder thing, right? <laughs> You're gonna get the download code, to the PDF. PDF's roughly 16 pages long, and you'll get the card that you'll be able to slide into your deck of cards for an everyday carry. Is it well-made? It's one of those stiff, flexy, plasticky paper cards that should last forever if you keep it nice and snug in your tuck case. What are they gonna teach you on the PDF? As always, Paul writes out all his instructions. There's no pictures, it's a PDF. Uh, starts on page four, ends on page 15, so it's a really 11 pages of instruction. You're gonna get an intro, obviously. Uh, he's gonna walk you through the five card poker trick and then he's gonna talk about the three card poker trick. There's an advanced method and then there's some crediting. Can it be inspected? Yes. I think this is one of those things where they could hold it in their hands the entire time. It's only single digit numbers and you're not gonna get past 13, right? You're not gonna get past 13. So how much practice does it require? Yes, there is math. Yes, there is some math to remember. And yes, the math isn't the same on both sides. Positives. Hey, it's very organic because people recognize this card and to see it come out of a deck of cards, they're just gonna think you're doing a magic trick with a, the card that we normally throw away, right? The card that we don't even pay attention to. Plus, this is a great way to step into a card trick or even to finish a card trick series. You know, if they say one more, you know, do one more thing and you've already done a bunch of card tricks, you can pull this out and say, well, let me just, let me try something with this card. We don't always use this card. And then you immediately go into mentalism, which is, a, like I said, very organic. Negatives. <laughs> You know what I'm gonna say before I even say it. I don't like math. I don't like math. I don't like math in my head. I don't like math on the fly. And I don't like turning math numbers into something else. Like I know, we should all know that 11 is Jack and 12 is Queen and 13 is King. Like we should, right? But it's doing it on the fly and being able to just do that. I don't know what it is. I'm just bad at math. I'm bad at math. The good news is, the good news is, the good news of the negative is, if they've picked an ace or they've picked a three or they've picked a four, you won't have to do any math. You'll know right away. Plus the other negative for me was the other side is different math, <laughs> right? It's not the same. So you're on one side, you're in one box, and then you have to turn it over and jump to a different box. But I guess that's why the crib is on the back side, so that the second time around, you don't have to remember it. And that's why I, why I would hold it so that I can see my crib. How much is it? It's $15 at mentalvoyage.com. All right, that's everything I can say about the player's card and Lexicology 2.0. I have also made a Paul Carnazzo playlist here on YouTube. If you'd like to check out some of his other effects, uh, other tricks that I've reviewed. And I wanna thank Paul and mentalvoyage.com for allowing me to have this so that I could do the review for you. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time, bye. Hey, and before I go, I just want to let you know that if you are looking for a friendly community made up of professional and amateur magicians just like yourself, be sure to check out the Magicians Forum at themagiciansforum.com. The Magicians Forum is helpful, clean, and you'll be able to ask questions and receive advice from people who know what they're talking about. Come see where masters like Harry Lorraine and Pop Hayden hang out. Oh, and of course, I'm there too. Looking forward to seeing you. Have a great week.